A tragic event in the news over the weekend. An Ethiopian Airlines flight crashed just six minutes after taking off, killing all 157 people on board, including 19 UN workers and 18 Canadians. Among those, a professor from Carleton University, a young mother and daughter from Edmonton, a young woman from Toronto, and a volunteer assistant pastor from Calgary. Some of the victims were on their way to a UN environmental conference in Kenya. And I found it amazing, Greg, Pius Adesomni, uh, his last post, that was the Carleton University professor, he posted this scripture. It's from Psalm 139 and it says, If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the earth, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. And it's like even in this flight as he's ready to go, he's saying my life is in your hands, God, and you're going to be with me no matter what happens. And the worst thing did happen. It did. And, you know, so heartbreaking seeing the, you know, the photos of those people and the broken families now. It's just a sad time. You know, aviation investigators are still searching for the cause of that crash. But Ethiopia, as well as other countries, have grounded their Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft due to safety concerns. And joining us on the phone from Edmonton is Pastor Terefa Sirika, and he's the senior pastor of the Ethiopian Evangelical Church of Edmonton. Pastor Terefa, thank you for joining us. Now, Sunday morning, uh, you found out what happened. What was your immediate reaction? Yeah, just uh, I was just checking the news, uh, uh, you know, before we s the service starts, and uh, you know, I saw this clip, and I, you know, an aircraft crashed in Ethiopia. I think my first reaction was disbelief. I thought maybe, it, like you know, it's fake news in these days. You know, all kind of news, the releases are especially in social media, and uh, but uh, you know, I just you know looked at it, and uh, you know, some, some credible news sources were reporting it and uh, I was uh, I was really shocked it's just disbelief yeah it's a very very sad sad thing happened yeah you of course pastor the Ethiopian Evangelical Church of Edmonton how has your community been reacting to this news yeah I think it's uh, it's just uh, uh, it's just a shock uh, you know it, it has never happened uh, uh, before especially like inside Ethiopia I, I don't think this is the first time uh, this kind of accident happened with this magnitude and uh, people are very very sad as you know you know the ethiopian airlines is you know one of uh, you know very iconic uh, airlines you know for ethiopians it's just one of sense of pride it's a very excellent uh, airlines and uh, you know also what's going on in the country in many fronts i mean this uh, this is i think the last thing people wanted to hear i know and, i've had uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I was going to say, I've had the opportunity of traveling on uh, Ethiopian Air as well. It's an excellent airline and uh, known for their safety. I mean, these things do happen. How as a pastor, you, because right after you found out, you had the church service and obviously people were upset if they knew the news or as you were telling them, how were you able to kind of pastor people through that and help them, you know, in this very difficult situation? Yeah, yeah, just, uh, yeah, we had uh, a meeting with my, my leaders uh, in the morning before service. And, uh, you know, one thing, one of the things we did was like, uh, we just, you know, I think some people, but uh, no, it's, it's just in the morning. So I think some of some people, probably most of them have not heard. So we have to announce it actually in the service. And uh, one of my leader, you know, he uh, announced it to the people. And I think people were really shocked. Then, you know, we just offered, uh, you know, prayer, you know, for the victim's family. And all over the world, as you know, it's a very international. You know, many you know people have been affected in many countries, not only not only Ethiopians, you know, many Canadians. So we we, we did uh, uh, you know a prayer, and you know just you know tell people to trust the Lord. Uh, we we did it actually twice in the morning service. We have also an English service for the second generation. Yeah, we we were actually there was some media also came to our church. And uh, we also, you know, prayed and, you know, encouraged and uh, just tell people to trust the Lord. Yeah. I knew That's as what we did, yeah. soon as I heard a pastor, there'd be so many people as well, uh, missionaries, NGO workers, UN workers. I've been on many of those flights throughout Africa. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are there making a difference. And we're going to hear more, of course, of the people who've lost their lives. But we're wondering, you know, we are a people of prayer. When we don't know what to do sometimes, that's the only thing we know to turn to is to say, God, please come bring your healing, bring your help, uh, help the families that are hearing this news for the first time. I'm wondering if you would mind just taking a few minutes, a minute here, just to pray for the families of the victims. Sure, yeah, yeah, I will, yeah, yeah, I would like to pray that. 
Father God, we come into your presence in this trying time for many families, also for the nation of Ethiopia, also, Father God, all over the world for people who have been affected by this. Father God, you are the God of mercy and the God of all comfort, as the scripture tells us. Father God, we ask you to give us comfort. Father God, we ask you to minister by the Holy Spirit to each family members. Father God, many people have lost their dads, their moms, sisters, brothers, uncles, and Father God, siblings. Lord Jesus, it's beyond human strength and human comprehension, Father God, beyond words. But the Holy Spirit, Father God, you can minister to them, you can comfort them, you can also give them the grace, Father God, to pass through this time. Father God, for those in authority, give them the wisdom when they do their investigation. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Terefa. And again, our hearts go out to Canadians who have lost family members and all those around the world and appreciate the work that you're doing at Edmonton. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.